What's up everyone and welcome to the channel. Should have a really another exciting video today as we start fitting up the bed pieces on the trailer. We have to make a few brackets uh, to fit those up, but it's gonna really start to take shape in this one. So just starting out, we need to make a bracket to hold this front piece and we have another piece of angle iron to do basically what we did back here. So that'll hold it up so it'll hold it flat up was because before this was welded to the frame so we don't want to do that so we need to make that bracket and then we also need to make the bracket piece that goes right here that holds the back of the bed uh back of the bedside uh onto the frame so we'll make those two and then we'll just need to mock up all the holes and stuff on the bedside for the fenders and whatnot but We'll get to that when we get there, but we're gonna go ahead and start looking at this front piece to get that bracket made. All right, so now taking a look at this, what I've gone ahead and done is made a little bracket right here, and this will bolt down through one bolt hole right here, and then I'll need to drill another one. And I want to bolt this to the frame rather than weld it. Um, just so that we can remove this front piece if we need to. I, th I felt like it'd just make it a little bit easier um, just because. Uh, so, and with it bolted down, it's not gonna be a big deal. Uh, so now what I'll need to do, just like on that back one, is I have the level out here laid across the top of these. So now what I'm gonna wanna do is get this piece held up to where I'm touching it and get it marked um, in here to where I need to cut the bracket off. So I am gonna weld this bracket to it uh, flush like so. I don't want it back behind it like the other one because I'm going to put bolts, uh, bolt holes through here and run bolts through it to attach the front bed piece because otherwise uh, there's nothing holding the front bed piece at the bottom. So. It's being held on the sides by this bedside, uh, but I want to secure that bottom bit. So we're going to use bolts through it uh, this way to do so. So now just going to get this set up right here and where we want it, and then go ahead and get this piece held up, marked, and get these cut. And here we go. I have this set up, got the level set up, and I just have these bottom ones clamped down right there so they don't move. And then just got this angle iron held up to where it touches the bottom of the level across all the beams. So now I know that this piece right here is flat and I have it clamped. And then now that I have it clamped, I just take a marker, run a line across the bottom and I'll just cut across the top of that line on both sides. And this side's already set up as well. Boom, so we can cut that off. We can cut that off and weld it up and we should be good to go. So I will, before I weld it, come back out here and clamp it down again, just to make sure it is level and have it held up to the level and spot weld it uh, when it's on here, just so we don't have any issues. And we got this piece cut and now have it clamped on and we'll just need to rotate this back a little bit and we'll get this right here tacked in. All right, not pretty, but now let's go ahead and do the other side. And same thing over here. Get this tilted right. Again, not pretty, but it'll work for now. So now I'm gonna Flex it a little bit and then tack in the other side on both of them. It's 
So now that this is done, I'm going to go back and get this piece uh, welded out and ground down and smoothed out, and then we'll move on. We got these welded in, grinded down smooth, so this will be really nice. Looks good with the other ones. So now what we can do is, I do have these holes ready, but first, before we get this thing secured and where it needs to be, um, the plan is I do want to put two more holes in this to hold the front piece, front bed piece to it. But before that, we need to make sure that where this goes, this whole, the front and sides match up with the back of this correctly. So, cause we still need to make this bracket right here to hold the back of the bedside. So what I'm gonna do is take all of the pieces, all of the bedsides and set them out on the ground, get them bolted together and lined up, and then we'll carry them over here and get it set on the trailer. Um, get the front set up on here where it needs to go or where we think it needs to go so we can hold the sides up and make sure our backs line up uh, correctly with this. And then once we get that right, then we can mark these front holes here to drill into the frame to bolt it and the ones in the front. So we're gonna get those set out and get that, get the uh, three bedsides bolted together and then get it held up here. So I've got it set up how we want it. Uh, got these back pieces lined up even with the bottom of the uh, this plate on the bumper on both sides. So we got this lined up and have our front support set in. Um, well, first got this front piece measured to where it's e this gap right here is even with that over there. So we have it squared up. And then we have our front support in, um, have our holes drilled in the bottom and in the front piece. And then as you can see here, we have that marked with Sharpie on both sides. So now what we're ready to do is I want to get the holes marked for the front of this. So let's see if I can get a look. I've got those drilled in the front piece so I wanna get inside the frame here and get those marked um, and, get, and then get you know one of these holes and one of the ones in here drilled on both sides so we can get this secured. Uh, so if we can get that secure, then we know that it's not gonna be moving around, sliding around anywhere, and we'll be in a good position to start uh, coming up with our mounting bracket for each of these two sides. All right guys, so we have the tailgate set on here. I got both of the brackets for the bedsides mostly done. And this is what I come up with. So I just have this L bracket that's bolted on at the end of the frame. 
and it does look pretty ugly right now but i was working on this um getting into the dark last night so it was hard to get this looking nice um but what we'll do now is i have another piece uh, this l piece that i have the hole in it and it's going to go on the bottom of this bracket and it's going to bolt down uh, at the bottom here of the bedside so i have that ready for both sides what i'll have to do is take the tailgate off and the bracket off in order to get that hole drilled and then once we get the hole drilled and this bolted up on it we can uh, tack this tack weld this onto the bottom of this bracket on both sides so it's the same on both sides and then once these uh, bed sides come off then we can go ahead and get it full welded and uh, how it needs to be so after we do that i'm going to work on while we have all this on here right now I'm going to work on getting the side uh pieces that will hold the boards down that are going in the bed so my plan is um basically i'll just use this as an example i'm going to take a piece um, of metal and come off these vertically right here so I have a little piece going up off of each of these and then I'll drop it down and have a piece coming off of it like so that will overlap over top of the boards to hold the edges down uh, so that's my plan to do that and I'll run it along you know all four sides and then I'll put some little loops on it on each corner as like a tie down point I think that'd be a really nice thing to have in this um so yeah that's the plan we got both of these mounts welded on and got it bolted both of them are holding really nice so even with just that that doesn't wiggle too much and it'll stiffen up once we get the bed on or once we get the uh the tailgate on and then the bed in so next we're not going to go ahead and do the um, bed parts yet. We want to go ahead and get the tailgate on first because that'll dictate the spacing um, back here. Because the tailgate's going to sit probably around this area somewhere in here. So we don't want to run this stuff when the tailgate's going to impede on our back spacing. So we're going to get the tailgate in and then get the fenders on because uh, the fenders will move this bedside a little bit and we're going to want to add probably some bracing in here one to keep this from flapping around as we ride and then two on this side to hold it steady and give us a little bit of clearance so i'm going to go tailgate fenders and then jump on this Now we got the tailgate hinges on, so got these riveted in. We'll have to drill them out um, before we go to paint this and all that stuff, but that'll be fine, we'll just replace them. 
uh, we will need to, you can see there's a gap here. So what we're gonna do is this top bed piece, when you push it in, that bracket moves a bit. So we'll just have to reinforce the bracket on both sides. Uh, shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, but here's the right side and other side. And it looks great. So now we're going to open it for the first time. And we'll see how that goes. -hoo -hoo. Oh man, that's money. That's perfect. Got plenty of room because that gap will come in a little bit, but it's not... It's not coming out. You know, the tailgate's not gonna come loose. It's nice and tight over on this side. Oh man, that's beautiful. That's perfect. Yeah, I hit it with the welder right there when I was trying to do the bracket. This is awesome. What do you think? Nice, very nice. Looks like it goes pretty smooth too. I mean, this tailgate, no, it is. This tailgate is heavy, so man. And probably probably just throw a dab of grease in there for final assembly. Uh, nice yeah, so when we get that pulled in, it'll look really nice. Have plenty of gap here for it to move. Same thing on this side. Pull it back just a little bit. Yeah, we get that pulled in. That'll be really nice. Yeah, and then some of this gap right here, I mean, this is fine right here. Some of it will be taken up with our wood and whatnot that's going to be going in there. Um, and that's plenty of gap for it to move anyways. I'm really happy with that. Happy with how this is fitting up. So this is awesome. Now, next thing we're going to do is work on getting the fenders on there and fit it up right. We got both of these fenders mocked up now. I think it looks really good. About as good as we're gonna get. Um, since we did have to, you know, beat these fenders out, so they're not gonna be exactly the same um, dimensions everywhere uh, because we did, you know, have to replace the front and replace the back on this one and you know all that. They'll be they'll be a little off, but just for eyeballing it. And we took some measurements to try to match them up as perfectly as we could and I think we got it really, really close. I think it looks fantastic. You know, tried to get this front curvature matched up and uh, I think we did a good job. So now what we need to do is take and get these wheels off in order to get the marks up under here. Uh, so we'll do that, get these marked, get them drilled and get them bolted get the tires back on.
we got this side bolted on and it looks great so you can see we have the heads of the bolts going through the inside just like they were originally got them all bolted up inside here so it looks awesome so now just have to do the same thing to the other side get our wheels back on and then we'll jump back to you when this is finished and here we are got these wheels back on it everything's bolted down nice and tight and this looks great it looks so good to have this finally on i mean this is basically what finished product's gonna look like well I'm gonna still have to put a step on there but other than that man still have some you know things to do with the tailgate in order to get you know these sides to sit right and for everything to mount up right but that's to come and we have this side i think it looks awesome take a front look at it oh yeah it's gonna look so good when this is finished so again you still have the steps to do that'll come later uh, that's going to be it for this video though uh, we just kind of run out of time but on the next one we're going to be jumping in to the bed here getting all this figured out and getting our wood fit in here right uh, and getting you know what border or you know getting getting the design that we want for in here um getting that right figured out getting that wood cut and laid in and then you know We'll move on, I guess, after that, doing the steps and then, you know, primer paint. But there's still a lot of work left to do on this thing. I mean, I know it's coming along really well. And, I mean, you can just see the progress that's happening here. So I'm really happy with how it's looking so far. So it's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. appreciate the support on these videos. Uh, if you're new to the channel or haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that really helps, helps me out and gets these videos moving up and YouTube. Uh, so also along with that, like the video and I'll see you.